Hi, my name is Dr. Heidi Dees. I'm the lead pharmacist for MCT2D, the Michigan Collaborative for Type 2 Diabetes. I'm also a clinical pharmacist at Domino Farms Family Medicine, and I'm also assistant professor at the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy. One thing that's important to know about Bidurion b size is when you are storing it in the refrigerator, whether it's immediately um, from coming home from the pharmacy or while you're using a pen at room temperature, it must be stored flat. It cannot be stored on its side. The reason behind is this pen has powder in it that you're gonna actually um, mix in the pen and so it must be stored flat. For Bidurian b size, when it's in use, it can be stored at room temperature for up to four weeks. Anytime we have a weekly medication, I like to remind my patients to set a Bidurion day. And so this way they can try to remember Wednesday is the day of the week that they give their injections. Hi, so now we're going to talk about your Bidurion b size pen. This medication is a single dose, single use pen that you inject once weekly. So now I'm going to go over the various components of the pen so you know how to use them when you go to give your first injection. One of the nice uh, things about the Bidurion b size pen is it does not require you to attach a needle. It is an auto injector, so the needle is already contained in the pen. So some things that I want to bring your attention to when you get the pen and up until you give your injection, this arrow should always be pointed at the lock. We're going to talk about this dosing window in a second when we get to preparing the pen for injection. And finally, this orange cap is what you're going to remove when it comes time um, to give your injection. Let's talk about preparing your site for your injection. I recommend to my patients to use the abdominal region for their injections. There are other sites that are available um, for use, but I encourage you to talk to your doctor, your pharmacist, or your nurse for which site is best for you. The reason I like the abdominal area is it offers the best site of absorption. So when we're dealing with the abdominal area, if you locate your belly button, you never want to inject within two inches of the belly button. Anywhere away from that is fair game. So what you need to do is in the area that you're going to give your injection, you're going to uh, use an alcohol swab to properly cleanse the area and uh, disinfect. It's very important to let the alcohol dry. This ensures less pain and also proper aseptic technique. You always want to rotate your injection sites. So what I tell my patients is to think of each side of their abdomen as a clock. And after each injection, whether it is day to day or week to week, you go from side to side, but then when you go back to that side, you pick a different number on the clock. This is to ensure that you never inject at the same point every single time and create scar tissue underneath that injection site. Now we are gonna talk about preparing your pen. First step is to mix it. At this point, again, it's still in the locked position and you need to shake the pen quite hard for 15 seconds. Once you've done that, you want to check to see if it's mixed enough. And how we know this is you wanna look in the window and as you can see here, um, it goes from pretty clear to getting really cloudy at the bottom. And this is not properly mixed. We want an even distribution, so an even cloudiness within, the, um, within this dosing window. So now I'm gonna show you an example of uh, medication that's been mixed well. So in here you can see the cloudiness is even and so this tells us that you have properly mixed your Bidurion pen. If there's a few bubbles in there that is fine. 
It's also very important to understand that we're not going to move on to any other steps until you've gotten this nicely cloudy even mixture. So once you've mixed it, you have to proceed to injecting yourself. You do not want to wait and step away and do something else because then these particles might kind of go back down to the bottom again and then it will not be mixed. So just an important point there. Okay, now it is time to unlock your medication and then give your injection immediately after. So as you can see, currently the pointer is pointed at the locked position. We are gonna twist this end and move it so the pointer is pointing to the unlocked position. At this point, we're gonna tilt the pen up and we are gonna remove this cap. You can do so by unscrewing it. So we're just gonna kind of twist here and then this red cap is thrown away in the garbage. Now, if you can see this green shield here is, is the um, auto injector device so you will never see this needle um, going into you or when it would retracts into the pen. Then we're going to pretend that this is your abdominal area. You're going to give this injection at least two inches away from your belly button. Um, you're going to bring this end of the green portion uh, up to your skin. It, one thing I'd like to point out, we want to make sure that once this green shield is out, you are ready to give your injection and put it immediately to your skin because there is a live needle inside. So. We're going to go to the edge of to the your skin. You're going to push the pen down over that and you're going to hear a click. And then you want to continue to hold and this window here you'll see is is moving down. And once you see that orange um, device in here, you know that you have received the entire injection. I do recommend that once you push and you hear that click, that you hold the pen there being pressed against your skin for 15 seconds. Once you're done, you simply remove. You heard that click. That is um, demonstrating that the pen is secure. This then device is ready to go into your Sharps container. Again, one-time use, and you are all set.